Okay. And we're back with the new AMD Fire Strike test as we go into the new school, which is installed right now at this portion in time. And we'll look at some tests. I have an overclock, as you can hear, my voice is being a little bit buried out by the, I guess, left side of the portion of the microphone, more than likely, as I hear my Radeon 7 almost about to lift off. Um, as we can see, we went past those optionals of the 9. 0.10 variant. We're in November, so now that's the 9.11.1, I believe, is uh, what we're rocking right now uh, as we kind of push past into the 19 as the portion goes into it. So let's go ahead and take a pause and look at what we have installed directly right over here. So let's go ahead and pull up the AMD patch notes. And you can see one of the bigger portions is Red Dead Redemption 2. As NVIDIA patched last night as well, one of the bigger portions past that, though, was the Vulcan timeline um, introduction as we get into the portions of the shadow clocks as well as the extended types and the shaders. All of these are directly inside the situations that are going to be coming into more enjoyable portions as we look into it. Now, let's go ahead and look directly at our score. We did happen to pull up a pretty decent like portion of what we were scoring on that. One thing to point out, as I can situationally being able to test out two of the softwares, is the one down below, as you can kind of see right there, um, on test 5, is my RTX 2080 Ti. So, that's not too bad when you compare them up, size them up. That's only a variant of maybe 4,000 points, give or take. That's pretty chill, but when we look at the variants of what we're going to be coming into with both of these scores that are pulled up 12 and 13 but you find out to the point of like where well I'm sorry 13 and 14 as those variant strikes are going against each other as you see 20 30 56 which is the last portion of the update of the where the newer portion is and then you have a normal overclock which is the auto overclock directly on there so now let's go ahead and dive down below to reveal yesterday's standard versus today's standard and you start to see there are variants but now this optimal versus the last optimal is pretty good because you see the 2033 um kind of pushing itself into the 50 margin for the fire strike so you already see a good direct x11 comparison in that situation now as the, the test goes into the time spike stream and we're seeing the movement and the acceleration as we come down to the portion of getting our final test. We'll start to understand that the AMD is doing a great job with introducing newer, like 3000 models, where they were able to like push the boundaries of what the clock speeds and fix that. And they're supposed to be working on a newer one, which is really cool. Now, I was a little disheartened that they pushed back their talk from today till, till the seventh, I believe, is when they're gonna be giving more of the 3000 Threadripper line that I was kind of hoping to find out today. But looking as where the company is pushing forward in technology as my Radeon 7 takes flight in my case, we will be seeing the final portions of where the year is going to be closing out and we might be getting more powerful portions of where the Navi unit is going into the first quarter of next year and the middle portion of the year as we start to see it contenders to hit the scene with intel meeting the medium market going towards maybe hopefully a medium towards heavy market and towards the tail end of it as where amd will be hitting the heavy market taking on tip for tat as a re amp like a situation will be coming into play for nvidia they're going to be going towards their 2080 no more there's a 3080 as their ti tap outs start to hit the new plateaus of more tensor core so what will amd do as the lineup comes down to the navi 20 and 24 as well as the 10 and 14 which i believe are coming out into the introduction of um skew lines as it trickles out into that portion as we kind of get into the portions of past that as we kind of go to the vulcan settings you can see that the shaders in the portions of the counter can be the subgroup level across the developable level as you see in these past that portion the 8 16 bit the 64 bit are all now available with the 16 bit float and flop on the vector types 
as this situation goes in the shade area. Now the pipeline, which will have a debugging tool for what you can get into the static pipeline and the compounds, as well as the extension that allows the user the portions of the shader modules which turn into the transportable points of higher levels into spirals. You look into the portion past that where we have the groups which have been able to be implemented as the various portions of the required sizes can be therefore adjusted directly into the, the optional features which allows the subgroups to be enabled. Um, the cluster subgroup option which features a subgroup of the minimal to the maximum or if what you need in proportion of the subgroups so it is very kind of cool where you will basically be able to pull out of the groups of knowledge as what they're adding into the sub portions of this vulcan support which is really great it's really cool to see now the fixed issues which are a lot portionable and what we'll be jumping into after let's go ahead and take a peek at what our time spot extremist test got into and you can see right here at this portion that it is not that bad 4100 that's a pretty good decent test as we compare that versus what i had gotten in the prior point and this is where you start to see like it's not that bad of a card where it definitely can come down to portions that is pretty chill actually be able to slam directly into that 46%. Yay! But if I only knew it was my 2080 Ti, it'd be all the way up here. Be like, yes, I know. I can contend. But looking at like tit for tat of what we've be seen as the situation unfurls, as well, is this a good update, right? Let's go ahead and take a peek at that as I line up the scores. Like I said, as I line up those scores right there, you see that the 2080 Ti, even at stock, will outrun the most overclocked portion of what you can get with the 7nm process of the Vega 2 series of the Radeon 7 which is still not that bad though if you size it up tit for tat it is still pretty good when it comes down to like performance but where are we sized up performance as we see the top out to the other portions of what the old and the new update are for the Direct 12 implementation of graphics you can see direct improvement as you see the over one has 22 points over so it's like all around this is actually a pretty good update for amd for as far as performance now i would personally like to hear from what people have to say as you can kind of see as we go down to the test is you can push the limits of like where this card can go with updates and what are people experiencing with these situational points let's go ahead and get back to the news as you can see, big fixes came in for the portion of Twitch users. Um, some users may be unable to connect to their Twitch accounts through the connect page in the Radeon settings for the live stream settings. If you are experiencing that still, try OBS. It's a great program and you might be able to buy the times if you are favorable for the Radeon settings. Now, the Outer Worlds makes the list as may sometimes experiencing an application crash when opening the character's inventories. The Outer Worlds also experiences the models being rendering incorrect in the inventories. The frame rate may be capped and remaining at 60 in some Vulkan API games, as well as the OBS streams may experience heavy frame rate drops when utilizing the AMF encoding. These are issues that are basically fixed hopefully but if you are still experiencing them what graphics card are you experiencing them with known issues that are basically open for the 5700 rtx not but the rx card yes making the list may experience shuttering in the games at 1080p at the lower game settings performing that's actually kind of laughable it's telling you push the card harder it doesn't like to not be unperformed um <laughs> Performing the metrics overlay may crash and shutters in the screen flashing on some applications and then again as well as we go into the 5700 series cards experiencing the display loss resuming the sleep in the hibernation and multiple screens are utilized in the mix. Toggling the HDR may experience an instability which is utilized in the Radeon Live which seems to be always making the list as well as the shutters experiencing in the free sync with the 240 a hertz refresh rate on the display with the 5700 card yet again the memory bandwidth at idle i can already tell is the radeon 7 experiencing the desktop making the list as it always is there and the performance metrics overlay may report incorrect 
VRAM utilization, as well as the invoking overlay may cause games to lose focus in the minimum HDR and situational points. So we get past that portion and we go down to the portion of where the Radeon important notes of the mobile processors, which are available right there. You can kind of see it's not too crazy, but it gives you a huge list of what has changed in the updates as well as the Vega processing portions of what we got down to. And you can get these directly into the links down below, but this would take a ton of time to like just basically digest. We're just going for the cliff notes for the 19.11.1, which is not that bad of a driver. I like it a lot. I would personally say install it and you will be very happy with this situation. So everyone, thank you so much for spending the time with the channel. This one is a comparison between the optimals. Sometimes I will do a direct comparison with the standards as we kind of transitioned into them. I hosted some specials of where they are going between where we are. But right now it seems like the optimals are taking leaf and blowing very high into the sky with performance. So I would say this is a very good one. But if you are experiencing hangups or you're experiencing less performance in this situation, leave a comment down below. Your boy Mac would like to know. And who knows? Maybe I will become a situational point of the next 4080 ti yes we must think towards the future why not right no all gpu humor aside and i guess the portion of trying to become a transformer of gpus i appreciate the time that you spent with the channel and i will see you guys and gals in the near future for the next installment for the next patch notes as we get into testing and the pre and post of what's going down with drivers that are currently installed to see what are our benchmarks when we come down to the portion of amd and what they are talking about fixes this one definitely seemed like it was a lot of cool fixes but i will see you guys and gals in the near future and if you subscribe today, I can eat a cookie. And I really want to eat a cookie, so you should totally subscribe. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Take it easy.